On today's Ask Connie Anything, I thought I would share about how I use tarot cards to work with my clients. And it's really, you can use any type of cards. I also use Oracle cards, but my favorite tarot right now is Kim Cran's uh, The Wild Unknown Tarot. And it's mostly to build your intuition. So I had a client and her project wasn't going quite as well as I would have liked it to. And I was wondering what was the problem? Was there something about the project I didn't know? Was there something going on with the client? I just, I wasn't quite sure. And so I grabbed my tarot cards and I sort them. You can also sort them like, uh, or with like playing a playing deck of cards. You can, I don't know what that's called, but you can <laughs> mix them up. You can put them on a table and mix them up. However you want, I like to mix the cards up until I feel like I, I need to stop. And then sometimes I'll just draw one card. For that client, I drew quite a few cards and did a spread. But then what we do is I always look at the card and um, this one is the wands, the two of wands, and try to figure out what the card is trying to tell me. Again, we're using our intuition on this. This isn't like uber, super evil science or anything. It's just, what does the cards trying to tell me? Because I'm trying to get into my creative side of my brain and get out of my analytical side of my brain. And so this one is really colorful and the cards are, uh, the sort, the wands are coming together. So I'm kind of thinking this might be like creating magic, M might be creatively looking at things. Um, and then I usually, cause I'm pretty a new tarot card reader, I'll go to the book and read on things on what it is. So the two of, two of wands is determination and direction which the wands are giving a direction, right? A direction up. It's clear you're on your way to success. You focused on a goal and have boldly painted all efforts in that direction. Since the suit of wands deals heavily with the mind, take this time to become more aware of your thought patterns specifically towards yourself. So then I sit there and I consider what does that mean with the situation or the question I've asked. When I did the spread for my client, it showed that something was untruthful. Something was, was hidden. And so when I got on the call with her, I asked, I'm like, okay, this could totally be me. It could be, you know, or it could be something going on with you. And it ended up on her side, she was having a business situation that was a little untruthful and we talked it out. So that's why I use tarot and my mentor calls is that sometimes it gives me insight into something that I might be not seeing, but a lot of the times it's something that the client's not seeing. And we find it, so it's a lot of fun. So oracle cards or tarot cards, using your intuition to like break through any things that get stuck in your mind. You're like, you're being too analytical. You're looking at the numbers too, too much as being perfectionism. Maybe those cards will help you break over to the creative side and find a solution. So that's just one tool that I use and I thought I would share it with you guys. If you have any questions or have any comments, let me know. But until next time, wishing you much success, joy, and of course, always profits. See ya.